If you think about it, your home has more square footage and costs more than some billionaire homes. And we are not talking about some billionaire, but the biggest billionaire, Elon Musk. The illustrious industrialist recently moved into a tiny, boxable home that costs $50,000. If you think this is too good to be accurate, join us as we tour inside Elon Musk's $50,000 home. We will be checking out the features and the amenities the world's richest man has in his tiny home. For many people, their house or home is a measure of their personal wealth. This is why stars usually live in big homes in expensive postcodes. For example, cultural icons Jay-Z and Beyonce own a 30,000-square-foot residence in Bel Air, LA that cost them $88 million. The mansion, which is custom-built, has 8 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms with bulletproof glass windows and a state-of-the-art security system. The power couple has access to four swimming pools and a full basketball court, in addition to a spa and garage that can hold 15 vehicles at a time. The Carters deserve to be able to live large with their illustrious careers entertaining us and with more than $1 billion in assets between them. However, the couple has other million-dollar properties with even more square footage in their portfolios. As you can expect, bigger billionaires live even bigger. For example, the Gates home is the Xanadu 2.0 in Medina, Washington, worth over $125 million and covers 66,000 square feet. This mansion is chock-full of technology to take care of the unique needs of the billionaire family. One of the features is a 60-foot-long pool. The whole house took seven years to complete. And then there is Musk, who is by a considerable margin the wealthiest individual breathing, getting by in a $50,000 tiny home on his company's land. The rich and famous have needs different from other people, which is why they are careful of their living arrangements. Like other people, they need their privacy, which might be hard to get when they live among the general population. Security is also a big issue as they are always in the public eye. For years, Musk had played the part of the ultra-wealthy with properties scattered all over the country. That came to an abrupt end when he announced on Twitter that he was selling almost all his physical possessions and would own no house, not even a single one. Musk is known for taking drastic action, but this was unprecedented. How can a billionaire own no home? In fact, Musk reported his girlfriend Grimes was mad at him. But of course, Musk meant his words and quickly listed all his seven properties on the market, with a combined worth of over $100 million. One of the properties belonged to Gene Wilder, and Musk stipulated the buyers must not tear it down. One of the houses was located in the Bay Area's pricey Hillsborough neighborhood and had an asking price of $35 million. So why did Musk sell all his properties? In an interview with Joe Rogan, with whom he likes to hang out a lot, Musk explains it has to do with his intention to colonize Mars. Newsflash, many of the things Musk does are connected to his Martian ambition. Apparently, the billionaire had begun preparing for the final move to the Red Planet. What's more important, Mars or a house? He asked the podcast host. Allocating time to build a house, even if it was a really great house, still is not a good use of time relative to developing the rockets necessary to get us to Mars and help us solve sustainable energy. Musk wants to be free of distraction as he builds the rocket that will convey him, probably, and other volunteers to Mars, where they will form a new human outpost. It is no mean task, and Musk would rather not be dealing with the mundane matters of owning and maintaining a house. But before the day comes when he boards his starship for the one-way trip to Mars, Musk needs a place to lay his head, which is why he ends up living in a tiny 20 by 20 feet apartment. And true to his words, Musk is actually renting the home from his own company, SpaceX. It would be interesting to see what happens when he falls behind on the rent. The likelihood of that happening is almost non-existent, though, but what is certain is that Musk's new surroundings are a jarring contrast to the luxury he has tasted in the past. There are no inspiring views here, as the home is situated on the bleak grounds of the space company in Boca Chica, Texas, a rural place by all reckoning. Houses built on Mars are likely to look like the boxable contraption more than the opulent structures that Musk has left behind. This is because they have to be erected quickly, easily, and energy efficient. They also have to be made from lightweight materials so they can be easily transported. When you look at it this way, you begin to wonder if Musk is not really just practicing living on Mars. Remember, Boca Chica is like the middle of nowhere with flatland all around, 
40 minutes removed from civilization. That's what Mars will look like for the first few settlers. Whatever the case, Musk has given the whole world the unexpected spectacle of its richest living in one of the tiniest homes. Boxable has enough reasons to thank the billionaires he has directed an enormous amount of interest their way. Boxable had been trying to reach its target audience through influencers and social media marketing and had gathered an impressive waitlist of 40,000 potential customers. But with Musk mentioning his living arrangements to his outsized Twitter followership, its waitlist expanded to 47,000 almost immediately. And that was without even saying Boxable by name. The total number of orders represented more than 1 billion worth of tiny homes. Boxable is a home-building startup that recognized a void in the home industries and decided to fill it with prefabricated homes. The company is doing brisk business already as the US Army has placed orders for $10 million worth of tiny houses. This is terrible news for reservation holders because the Army's order takes priority for delivery. Musk is said to live in the Casita model, which is $49,500 and 375 square feet. Boxable made it known that it was installing a Casita model for a top-secret customer in Boca Chica. The home is light enough that it can be towed by a Tesla car. To get one shipped to you, it might cost between $2 and $10 per mile to transport the home from its factory in Las Vegas to wherever you are. This includes locations overseas, as long as you can cover the cost of the transportation. To make the work done during the installation as minimal as possible, almost all of the Casita's finishes, like the kitchen, bathroom, electrical and plumbing fixtures, and HVAC are completed in the factory before it is shipped out. All that is done on the construction site is to unfold the home, attach it to the foundation, and fix the utility before the occupants move in. Despite the small size, the Casita is as complete as most homes. In fact, it is more or less an energy-efficient studio apartment shipped down to you. It features a kitchen, bathroom, living room, and bedroom. The kitchen has everything that makes a kitchen, although some fixtures are slimmed down. Musk has access to a refrigerator, dual sinks, an oven, a dishwasher, a microwave cabinets, and even a dining table connected to the countertops. The bedroom, which sits across from the kitchen, is separated from the living area with the help of a media center. However, you can swap the positions of the living room and bedroom. Musk has enough space in the sitting room for a couch and a coffee table in addition to the media center. Musk's bathroom shares a wall with his kitchen, but things are compact there as well. He gets to use a shower, a tub, sink, countertop, backlit mirror with a sliding door to protect his privacy. More amenities for Musk include a washer and dryer, designated ironing space, and temperature control. Musk's walls are made from steel, concrete, foam insulation, and laminated paneling. The downsizing billionaire does not have to fear nature in his new home as it is strong enough to withstand hurricane winds, floods, and snow. If Musk wanted, he could have gone for the two-bedroom floor plan to increase his usable space, but that might prove too much for this thrifty billionaire. You could even stack one boxable on another to make a cute storied home. According to the startup, one of the advantages of Boxable is that it is quick to set up, unlike the typical single-family home that would have made Musk wait for seven months before moving in. Let's know what you think of Musk's $50,000 home in the comment section. All the way up to the final paint. I've excluded the builder overhead and profit because I know many of you are looking to become owner builders because you want to save those costs by managing the process yourself. So in other words,